Hey guys, welcome back, or if you are new here, then welcome. On this channel, we give honest, authentic reviews of all kinds of gear for women, by women, but of course, everyone is absolutely welcome. Today, we are reviewing the Holiday 4-in-1 Crossbody Duffel Bag Backpack. What a mouthful. In this review, we are gonna go through a summary, go through all the features, have we fit check, see what it's like on the female body, have we airline test, do we water test, pros and cons, and then round up the video with some final thoughts. Of course, if after all that, you are still wondering about anything about this bike, then just pop us a wee comment below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Make sure you do go over to our community section where I've answered questions in more in depth. Like if you are asking a question about a bike and you wanna see more photos or a video, then I will create shorts or send out videos over there so that is something to just keep an eye on so that i can go into depth a bit more about your questions just a wee disclaimer this backpack purse convertible bag was sent out to us for review uh, by no means does that jeopardize the honesty that i will give for this review if you are new to this channel then just one thing to note about me is that i am honest we have recently done a review on the Dakota convertible backpack purse, which is definitely a shout, so you can go over to the channel and check that out. I will also leave the link below. Okay, let's get cracking on with the summary. If you are stumbling across this video and you're wondering who Drive are, they are a really fun, funky kind of brand. They create backpacks and bags that are basically everything that you need from day to night. Their kind of three mottos are comfort, sustainability, and solid territory. Now, if you haven't seen the last video, I have a speech impediment. So again, I'm just gonna pop this up on screen, whatever, how you say this word, God forbid. And I do apologize, but you win some, you lose some in life. And my speech is not the one that I won. One of the many great things about Drive is that they donate parts of their profits to shelters and organizations to help victims of domestic violence escape those situations. So this is priced at $249, but at the making of this video, there is currently a wee sale on, which brings it down to $169. So included with that price, you get two of the leather straps here to help you kind of convert it how you want to. And then you also get the longer ones so that you can make it as like a wee crossbody fit which we'll get into a bit more whenever we do a fit check if you are thinking more about comfort and you're thinking oh these are leather straps would be a little bit tough on my shoulders then you can opt for an extra 23 dollars to add on their wee pads which are pretty awesome if you want to go check those out as well that just gives you a little bit of added comfort but these are not overly uncomfortable we'll get into that in a wee minute so this bag is made up of recycled polyester dmf free water-based pu leather so essentially you have two modes so you have this kind of like backpack mode or you can opt to put it into a crossbody mode in this style then you can open it up and make it into a duffel bag or even a duffel backpack which is pretty great so the dimensions for the crossbody and the mini backpack are 8.4 by 7.8 8 by 3.1 in inches and the duffel bag slash backpack is a height of 10.6 by 19.7 by 7.8 it is down to a volume of 2 liters and it can expand up to 27 liters and this bag is pretty lightweight weighing only 2.16 pounds this is the only color that you can get it in which is the tan leather and on the inside when we go into duffel mode that is kind of like a blue navy the shape and style is definitely unique driver just known for making the most out of their bags and they can just transform from day to night as mentioned and you can also kind of range in the way you want to style it so this could be like your wee day bag and then you want to transform it into a bigger bag then you can do that you could also use it as a gym bag a travel bag it can be worn with dresses it can be worn for being a tourist for the day it has a lot of bonuses to it while still being super effective and unique and absolutely stunning when it is at its smallest form this is definitely the cutest little day bag i definitely feel like it's very aesthetically pleasing and i will definitely be getting a wee text off my mom saying that she loves this bag and that she would like one and that i should give her this one i like that you can style it how you want so we'll get into duffel mode in a minute but that you can have that ability to transform it and still kind of re remain with its sleek cleanness. It is a bit different and whenever we do get into duffel mode, the kind of flexibility does change because this is where you can kind of max this out the most. 
and because you are compressing it down that's really what you want you want something that is going to fold in nicely that you're not having to sit for ages to try and scrunch in all the material before you are zipping it back up again i do like how easy it is to transform so you just open up that compartment then here you are you're in duffel mode it is that water resistant material and there's no kind of stress with it it's not something that you have to overthink you just open it up pop it open or if you're not in the mood for using your duffel mode then you just pop it close and bob's your uncle on both modes you do have this flat bottom so whenever it is in duffel mode it is well protected when you are putting it down i would be aware because if you are then putting it back into your kind of day pack mode setting this down like that pretty often over time is that going to risk the kind of leather and um, that's just something you'll have to be a bit more wary of if you are putting this bike down when you have it in duffel mode but in terms of like protecting any belongings you have in there it is well padded obviously the duffel mode the flexibility of that it's not padded so just be aware of that if you are packing this up but the bottoms of the bike and the outside even when you are in the kind of little mini day pack mode here everything is well padded they offer a 30 day return free shipping over a hundred dollars they ship worldwide from germany and they offer returns on faulty items more on that over on the website the links are below okay let's get cracking on with the features so starting off with the smallest mode here the brandon is subtle it is embedded into the bag and the hardware is amazing the gold complements well i love the thoughtfulness of having clippers on the zips so that you can attach externally if you want to the zips do run nice and smoothly sometimes when you are compressing it up you do have to like push in the material a bit but it's nothing that's taking too much too much of your time so starting off with this wee front pocket here it is well padded as mentioned so if anything is falling forward but as you can see it just sits up by itself anyways in this front pocket you've got that external material which is their drive kind of logo here all throughout the bag I don't know I was I don't know if I am a fan I feel like I'm more of a fan of it on this kind of bike than I was on the Dakota one I just feel like this one it kind of makes it a bit more high-end fashion let me know in the comments if you are a fan of a printed kind of interior or not but I do appreciate it being bright now I really am um, I wouldn't say detesting but I don't like whenever brands literally make bags inside a dark hole and you're literally trying to find and fighting for your life to find whatever you have in there inside is pretty simple and minimalist this is your just front pocket if you have it on your back swinging around get what you need or if you have it on your front and you're using it as a crossbody then you can get in quite easily this pocket here you could put electronics in there if you wanted to and um, there is a bit of padding to not overly padded but the front is grand as well just plenty of space for you to play with the pocket itself i'll give you a wee measurement about nine inches you could go a bit bigger but then you're getting cut off by the flap maybe just 7.5 across also in there you do have two kind of hidden pen holders so that's just nice for a little bit of organization and to have that if you have like a wee notepad in here and pen then you can do that now just be aware that this is really your only pocket when it comes to backpack mode or crossbody mode right because you'll have to pack everything in here if you're not putting it into duffel mode but, but you do have a wee secret pocket here at the back which is handy enough for cards phones or anything that you just want to have closer to the back of your back or in front of you it is just a wee small pocket enough to fit your passport and again has that bright easy clean material in there as well so now i'm moving on to the main party of the bag it's on your second zip here which just opens up like so and this is where you enter duffel mode and i will show you all that fit in a minute with the whole fit check so that you can check out what it looks like but you have different modes where you can carry it over your shoulder crossbody, or even onto backpack kind of mode the material is that as mentioned easy to clean kind of system on the outside you do have the seatbelt material if you wanted to attach anything externally they look like they're using this as a handle i wouldn't just doesn't feel as comfortable or practical because look at the shape of the bag i mean it might be different whenever it's fully packed up but i can't imagine it's going to reach forward i've not used that mode then 
you have those clipper zips again which is really nice if you did have anything when you are in duffel mode that you wanted to extend out to then you can do that through the kind of handles and also through the wee clippers so starting off with the side here you have a compartment where you can place like dirty shoes dirty shoes or just shoes dirty laundry tiles anything and that does eat into the main part of the bag but it doesn't really compromise the space a lot because you still have a lot more room to play with and that's just on the side there and it's really nice to just have that because like even if you are using this as a gym bag you could keep your gym shoes in there or if you are you can put your towel or if you're using this as like a beach bag or going swimming or whatever then you can have the kind of separation there it's easy flexible it doesn't have that bright um interior that we have on the inside here so it kind of just shows you what part is the shoes and what part is the main part of the bag and that is that there pretty easy pretty to the point which is really nice no faff for that then on the side you have like this lovely little leather accent here and then again with the clip and the puller this is just like a wee pocket if you're on the go you have this on the side you can place whatever you need in there again darker interior on this one maybe would have preferred still to keep anything with that brighter material inside interior and um, let me know your thoughts but that is just nice to have like a pocket if you are in duffel mode because these ones are out of action do you know what i mean i mean you could still try and go ahead and put something in there if you wanted to but just be aware of how you are setting it down and if you have any electronics in there my inside is literally just space bright interior which is absolutely adored and love that for us you've got one pocket your kind of top grabbing pocket if you needed anything quick access to then that is there which is nice i think the colors really complement well the space itself does fit a lot just to give you a bit of an idea you've got one two now remember you can put your shoes in there as well let me just get them out of this packing cube where you can fit them into this compartment should you wish which i absolutely love such a wee shout for a gym bag honestly this is that easy clean material like if you have chalk if anyone knows then this is the kind of material that you want it packs up really nicely just a few things some tropic field jackets and you still have even more space if you wanted to pile in your water bottle as well then you have that and remember you have your little compartment here so you can even throw your phone or keys or anything in that and it just packs up really nice like once it gets packing out the shape is obviously a lot better and this is kind of what it looks like i don't know if i'm a fan of the whole bottom but i get because they're making this a convertible bag so it has to work some way but this is it packed out i just wanted to show you that like when you know you can't really grab these two if you wanted to hold it like that when it's fully packed and um, if it's a bit more compressed on then you could get that range of just holding these together but otherwise they're really just for like external uses okay let's get into how we fit check comfortability and see how this feels on the female body so this is it in the backpack duffel mode it's so comfortable i actually thought like the leather being on my back would be hideous now with a thinner top if it's a hot day that's sticking to you right but this is what it's like on me in the backpack duffel mode the straps are actually really comfortable again hotter days that leather is gonna rub but i don't have that issue here it's currently raining and literally like a thunderstorm so here we are over the shoulder strap mode which i wouldn't offer i've been testing it mostly out on the backpack because i just find that so much more comfortable and it's actually grand like i really did have my doubts about that leather but it has been lovely so you can shove this yawn over your shoulder if you wanted to it's giving sports bag and i need that a little bit more to me and um, there we go that's what it's like or you can throw it over your shoulder that's grand as well the straps really comfortable too it's that seatbelt material but it's quite uh silky silky smooth the straps are adjustable so you can just build that to your own little height and comfortability folds in nicely 
Let's go into baby mode. Right, we are gonna try the cross body. So you just clip on each side. Super handy, if you're not using the straps, you can shove it into the bag somewhere or you can swing her on down a bit, like so. Or you can put it behind you, like that. Again, the straps are really comfortable. This is really cute, little touristy day bag or just head into the shops, pop into the shops, evening, day, dresses, shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, Lovely. Little mini day pack for reference. I am five foot six. The straps are really comfortable. They're just cute. I love the style. You can swing it around, go to your front pocket, grab what you need, swing it on back. I love the fact that it keeps its shape. It remains the same. This is what it's like on me. In terms of the female body, it curves well. I mean, it is what it is. There is no real back support or anything like that. It's just simple to the point. A versatile bag that can do multiple things that you wanted to do and style it how you want. And I prefer this style the most and I just think it's so cute. Right, time for a wee airline test whilst it's in this here mode. You wanna know if it's gonna fit as a personal item. For EasyJet requirements, this is our box. This is the replica of EasyJet measurements. It's gonna be a no-go for a personal item, but for a carry-on, oh, you're grand. Okay, for the water test, as you can see, with that water-resistant material, it is gonna fall off. There is obviously a little bit of moments where it's gonna take a bit longer to drive on that seatbelt material. For the leather, it just runs off as well, so very water resistant in that aspect. Okay, time for some pros and cons. Pro is definitely that shoe compartment because it has a multi-purpose to it. You don't have to use it for shoes, you can use it for other things. So I like the fact that it is so versatile and that you can just pack it up and get out. I do appreciate the thoughtful features. As mentioned, you do get those straps included, which sometimes brands can be a little bit stingy on that side. So it's nice to know that they've given that and also to just put in those kind of um, little clips that you can externally attach to is just another moment that is really appreciated. For me, I do prefer it more in the kind of mini backpack mode. I think that's just a bit of me in comparison to duffel mode. I think duffel mode has a practicality to it. Like it's just easy to just chuck it in and go with. It is a shame that it doesn't fit in for a personal item because this would be really ideal if you were taking it with you as a personal item. Chuck everything out. Like I mentioned with the Dakota, I was able to do that chuck everything out and then put it into purse mode whereas I would love for this to be able to fit for EasyJet anyways because that's my regular airline and then to be able to go away with it chuck everything out and then put it into like kind of mini mode I definitely do prefer mini mode than duffel mode there's some things to think about it would have been nice to maybe have seen the the second compartment that goes into duffel mode to be able to use that as a pocket I don't know how complicated that would be obviously I'm not the designer but for the whole space and for only using two pockets when it is in mini mode or the backpack kind of smaller mode is like oh i wish there was one more pocket kind of thing that i could place everything into another thing to note is just the material when it's fully packed out it's grand but it can just get a bit wrinkly and i don't know how much of a fan i am of setting this down when it is in duffel mode i'm less likely to be doing that because of the lovely leather here i don't really want that hitting the ground and getting dirty Although it doesn't fit as a personal item for EasyJet, it might fit for other requirements. So make sure you match up the kind of measurements with your own airlines, because this is just a great bag to take away with you, even if you are taking it as a carry-on, because you can still chuck everything out and use this as your little tourist day bag if you wanted to as well. So that is the end of our review. We hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then why not consider joining the GBO community and hitting that subscribe button. If you do happen to have a wee gander on their website and you're thinking about purchasing this bag, then we would be forever grateful if you could use the links below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.